Hello everyone, Oli the Repairdo is here again. In this tutorial video, I'm going to show you how to bypass passcode screen with fMRI on on A6 devices such as iPad 4, iPhone 5C and 5. As you can see here, I have an iPhone 5 with passcode screen. As you can see, the first thing to do is to download Brook Randis. Don't forget to disable any antivirus protection as this triggers false positive. After which, open Brook Randis folder, open Brook Randis. Allow it to connect to the server. This will take quite some time. You can click OK. Let it connect to the server. This will take quite some time. Be patient. Once get iPhone 5, iOS something connected to normal mode, and it's, if you say not registered, you click this, then go to the link I'll be giving, which is this link, to register your ECID. Click register, and your ECID should be registered already. Once the registration process is complete, just disconnect and reconnect your iPhone. Take note of your iOS version. Mine is iOS 10. So, we will need this iOS version for later to download the RAM disk. After which, put the device in Pond DFU mode using either a Pond DFU boot disk or Hackintosh installation or an actual Mac. I'll be using my MacBook for this as my Ryzen system doesn't support Hackintosh nor the boot disk. As you can see, I am on my MacBook already. You have to download iPonder 32 from a link I'll be giving in the description below. Go to your download folder. As you can see, I already on my downloads folder. To enter Pond DFU, the first thing to do is to type dot slash iPonder 32 dash p enter you see waiting device in dfu mode put the iphone in dfu mode press and hold both home and power button together to shut down the device then let go of the power button and leave the home key if it doesn't work try this again home and power button to shut down the iphone once the screen is black let go of the power button and hold the home key Once you get exporting with Checkmate, allow it the export to run. This will take some time. You can close the final windows if needed. Once you get device is now in Pond IPSS mode, connect it back to your Windows machine or go back to Windows. Now we are at Windows, as you can see, with broke RAMD still running. Go to Options, Passcode Bypass RAMDs. Back, start, then select version. For me, it's iOS 10, so I select iOS 10.x. Depending on the iOS version, select the one that is suitable for your iPhone. Click boot iDevice. You get this warning, click yes, since we've already done the iPonder 32 thingy. Let it do its magic. This will take some time to put the device into RAM disk. This will take some time, be patient. Let it download the boot files required. If you have not done so, you should get a line of text, color flashes, and also the logo. You can close items if you want to. The color flashes. Allow it to put the RAM disk. This will take quite a while. Once you get this success, device successfully booted in SSH mode, click OK. Click Next. Click Backup iDevice to backup the activation files. Once the backup is done, you get this OK. Open the zip file. Make sure you have 1, 2, 3, 4. Fair play, iTunes control, iTunes. Make sure the IC dash info to SIC file is visible. You get this iCloud info.txt if you tick the save account option. 
This is useful for contacting the owner of the iPhone to remove from iCloud. I won't be showing this has I already bypassed the device using that trick already. And I won't be showing the original owner info for privacy reasons. After which, you can now erase the iDevice. Click Erase iDevice. You get this warning. Click Yes. Let it erase. This will take some time. You can now close the backup folders. Once again, iDevice has been erased. We will take. Click Done. Wait for the iPhone to boot. We will put this in Pawn DFU mode again once the device erasure is completed and on Hello screen. I will be also showing that the device is activation locked or FMI on using few tools. I'm going to show you. I open three tools as you can see. I will allow the iPhone to look to the hello screen. See? It's connecting the iDevice. This will take some time. As the iPhone is loading as well. I'll try to activate this iPhone to show you this is FMI on. Once I get this, I will activate the iDevice. I will not skip set up. I will show you that the device is FMI on. Device is FMI on as you can see. I will be putting this device in Pond DFU mode again and restoring the activation files after it reaches the hello screen. And it reaches the hello screen. It's high time for me to plug it back to Mac and redo the Pond DFU sequence. Now I connected the iPhone back to the MacBook and rerun the iPonder32 command. Now I put the device on Pond DFU mode. Put the device on DFU mode first by pressing and holding the power and home key. And the screen turn black, then let go of the power and hold the home key. Once the device is exploiting, you can close the final window. This will take a while for it to pawn. If you get this error, one way to fix is to restart the MacBook. I'll be restarting my MacBook. I finally restarted the MacBook. The first thing to do is to run the iPonder command again upon CD to download folders as I already done. I put the device on pawn DFU mode by pressing and holding power and home button while this script is running to put the device on the DFU mode. Wait for the DFU mode. Now let it export your checkmate. This will take some time. You can close the final windows. Once you get this device is now in pawn IBSS mode and DFU mode, you can either return to Windows or disconnect your iPhone from the Mac and connect to your Windows machine. Now I'm back in Windows as you can see. Make sure go option to, to pick the passcode by pass rent this. Click start. Then go select version iOS 10 again as per usual. You get this warning again, click yes. Let it do the magic to boot the RAM disk. This time round no downloads it has you already download the RAM disk required during the first time. You get these flashy color lights again and the text on the screen. The same thing as just now when you save the activation records. The screwing text. Once you get this, click OK, click Next, click Activate iDevice and skip setup. This will take some time, so be patient. While they mount the file system and upload all the activation files required for the phone calls to work. And you get this, you can choose. It's up to you. For me, I click No. Once you get iDevice has been successfully activated, click OK. 
I'll show you that phone calls work on this device. For some countries, phone calls doesn't work anymore due to the 3G shutdown. This is something to be aware of. My country, 3G shutdown only occurs in July. I will insert my SIM to show you that phone call work. Since iPhone 5 is not a BOLT capable device, it might fall back to 3G or even 2G networks. For some countries with 3G shutdown only, you will you get 2G network only. You can update completed. Just click plus if you want to connect to your PC. Continue. Next. Continue. Disable. Agree. Unfortunately, the skip setup doesn't work on ASIC devices. As you can see from here, I had to set up to get to the home screen. Now, since I get no service right now, I have to toggle on off airplane mode until I get signal for my case. Let's search. This will take some time. I will show you the phone calls work on this iPhone. It uses a 3G network in Singapore which is going to be down soon in July. But for some countries, if 2G network still available, it might cost will work. As you can see, I'm just trying to get a signal. Now I got a signal, I got startup signal. I'll just call the telephone number, which is 1633. The 3G network is still up and running for my country though. Loudspeaker. See, phone calls work on the iPhone 5 with passcode bypass. Please note, in some countries like the US, this the phone calls will not work even though you might get a signal. But some countries, you'll fall back to a 2G network like Malaysia and Indonesia. So please don't complain if phone call doesn't work for you but you get a signal using this method. I hope you enjoy this tutorial video. Please like, share and comment on my video. Subscribe to my channel. I hope to see you again in another video soon. Bye for now.